Hello? Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes, you. Yes, I could hear you now. I I think I can hear you. Okay, evening, hold on. Sir. Hello. Good evening. I'm seeing what's wrong with my with my video camera. Hold on, please. Let me check. Okay, hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you, but I don't. I don't see you. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, there you go. Okay, can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. So only Jesus is in class right now. Uh, please call me Alberto. I just put my full name, but I don't, I don't like that name. Just Alberto. Okay. Because it's a it's a policy to put my full name. Otherwise, I could put my just Alberto. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Okay, Alberto. So only you in class, Alberto. I see Claudia. I see Anna. I see Lisette. I see more people in class. Okay. There you go. I see Gerardo. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Because I don't know if only Alberto can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. So only Alberto and Gerardo can hear me. Class, this is English class. The objective is to speak. Yes? <laughs> Okay, let's not speak then. I do want to speak. <laughs> Thank you. Clase, en serio, me pueden escuchar, van a participar, van a hablar. Hola, hola, hola. Good evening, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, you can hear me. Claudia Girón, la he estado viendo desde que empezó la clase y no, me, no sé si me escucha o no. I answer you, yes. Oh, th th you. thank you. Okay, thank you. No la escuché. I couldn't hear you. Okay. Thank you. Ana, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. And Ana también ya dijo hello. Okay, hi, class. How are you? Mm, pretty good, thanks. Just expecting the new this new level to start to get yeah. a start is is this your first class this year mm, not really i was in the, the previous pre advanced module module three mm -hmm. okay okay can you excuse me one moment please let me check one thing. Sure, go ahead. Thank you.
Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh my God, okay. this is advanced class. I have basic class that they, they like to speak. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, one thing. Hoy es primer día. Eh, les voy a decir esta parte en español rápido. Uh, de parte de Insafor nos piden de que si es posible tengan la cámara encendida porque es la forma de ellos pasar asistencia porque se han dado casos de que yo no sé hay gente que tiene encendida la o tiene quizá la clase encendida están en Instagram o están viendo tele pero solo solo están encendidos solo se ve la, la la foto que tienen. Entonces, ahí el problema número uno es que la clase, el profesor, pensamos que esa persona está ahí. Estamos en la clase, le hacemos preguntas a esa persona y, y bien se nota porque de repente cuando alguien le hace preguntas, se oye al rato. Ah, 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 yeah, ah, you know? Entonces, esa es una, dos. Y también se han dado quejas de que al final de la clase, eh, cuando termina el módulo, mucha gente dice, no entendí nada. No aprendí nada. Entonces viene Insafol y regresa a las clases. Es forma de tomar asistencia. Bien. Por ejemplo, hoy, hoy, cuando les estaba diciendo hola, hola a todos, solo miraba a Alberto, la foto de él, y nadie hablaba. Entonces una de dos, o yo pensaba que no servía mi audio, pero Alberto me oía, entonces alguien me tenía que oír, pero nadie me respondía, entonces... No sé, puede que pase esa cosa que les digo, de que hay gente que solo tiene encendida. Y, y es muy malo, también la verdad es muy malo. Así no se va a aprender. ¿Ok? De verdad, el inglés, nunca he conocido a alguien que solo lo ha aprendido así como ah, tenerlo de fondo. Tienen que participar y más que ya están avanzados. A Alberto ya lo oí hablar, me gusta cómo habla. Eh, ok, entonces ya la clase es avanzada, vamos a... Solo, solo esta parte la voy a hablar en español. Les voy a explicar cómo doy las clases yo, para las expectativas que tengo yo de ustedes y espero que ustedes tengan de mí una. Los voy a corregir en el momento. Porque la clase es una hora y si yo guardo las notas y ya termina la hora, ya no los corregí. Algún error que, o sea, en el momento es mejor porque está fresco. ¿Ya? Entonces no se vayan a enojar, o sea, no vayan a pensar de que Hey. Porque a mí. Dos, eh, vamos a participar. Les pido de verdad, por favor, que tú me participen. ¿Yes? Y tres, si no quieren participar, que okay, está bien, pero díganme que no van a participar, porque lo, lo, si alguien está conectado, tenemos que involucrarlo en la clase. Entonces, como les digo, a veces es muy mala onda que alguien esté haciendo tareas, esté viendo o chateando, esté no sé qué, y solo tener la clase de fondo cuando realmente gente está poniendo atención y le toca a esa, a esa persona. Hola, José, José. Pero yo sé que de tanto ir José, uy, conmigo. Eh. Ajá, yeah, I'm sorry, eh, no, no escuché, no sirve mi, ya me puedo todas las excusas. <ríe> eh, ah, lo siento, el, el internet ha estado malo, eh, eh, no, 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 no me sirve muy bien el, el... Ah, whatever, <ríe> todo, entonces, pero... Entonces, eso también les digo, por favor, pongan, si, si es posible, pongan una cámara. No necesariamente tienen que estar ustedes ahí, pero solo para que Insafor, es lo que les digo, es la forma que ellos, ellos quedan la clase el día siguiente o no sé cada cuánto lo hacen. Y es la forma de tomar ellos asistencia. Porque sí se dieron bastantes casos así. Eh, ok, Ana, Jonathan, Angélica, Gerardo. Thank you. Ahora, a esto voy. Yo no sé si Ana me ha escuchado, no sé si me escuchó Angélica y no sé si me escuchó Jonathan, porque están en mudo y no tienen audio. Oigan, oigan. Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. I no. listen. ah, pero usted me acaba de escribir, ¿verdad? No. Alguien me escribió que no puede eh, bastar así. 
Okay, Jonathan. Hello, Ana. Perdido. Oh, Ana, thank you. Okay, Jonathan, yo sí. Puedo apostar. Ahí está, ya oyó. Ya oyó al fondo. Jonathan, te llaman. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jonathan. Okay. Y, miren, yo, yo he sido profesor por más de 20 años. Y una cosa he aprendido sobre dar clases del idioma inglés y también la he aprendido en mi vida personal. Hay cosas que se estudian y hay cosas que se aprenden. Y yo siento que el peor error que nosotros podemos hacer es decir que estudiamos inglés. El inglés se aprende. ¿Qué es la diferencia? Las cosas que se estudian, obviamente lo dice el verbo, se estudia, se repasa, se lee y es para guardárselo, es para conocimiento. Pero hay cosas que se aprenden. ¿Qué son cosas que se aprenden? Todos son verbos. Se aprende a nadar. Se aprende a bailar. Se aprende a cocinar. ¿O se estudia para cocinar? No. ¿Estoy estudiando nadar? No. No se estudia para nadar. No se estudia. Bueno, hay, hay gente que paga clases, pero igual. No, son cosas que se aprenden. Un bebé, desde que nacemos... El bebé aprende a caminar, aprende a hablar, aprende a comer, aprende a ir al baño. ¿Cómo lo hace? Con práctica, sin necesidad de estudio. Entonces, ¿por qué el inglés se aprende? Porque el inglés se habla, hablar se aprende. Entonces, eh, y yo creo que ese, eh, ese, yo creo que por eso, desde que fuimos al kinder, a preparatoria, a bachillerato, a universidad, Toda la gente siempre íbamos con la, el cuaderno y el lápiz a tomar notas en inglés. Y yo nunca, nunca entendí eso. Yo me acuerdo que iba a clases de universidad y miraba a un profesor dándole clases a 60, 80 alumnos. Really? Man? En serio, una clase como de dos horas. Y el profesor solo leyendo, escribiendo y todos anotando. No sé, no, no, no sé qué, qué, qué aprendieron ahí. Ya. Yeah. Le voy a dar un ejemplo, creo que no está oyendo. Mi esposa no puede manejar. Y nunca va a poder. Porque ella lo estudia. Eso sí se puede todas las leyes. Estudió, estudió, leyó, leyó. Pero nunca agarra el carro. ¿Me entienden? Entonces... Pero ella es como de vieja escuela. Eh, ha estudiado los libros. Aquí es alto tuyo. No, en la no sé qué yo. Maneja, pues. Pero bien diferente ya a la, a la hora de práctica. Entonces, si ¿sí es inglés. De nada. Ojalá no me estoy. De nada sirve. Que tomen todas las notas si no las hablan. Y de ahí viene el famoso comentario que todo mundo me dice que lo he oído por... 20 años. Es que miren, mi problema es que yo entiendo todo, pero a mí lo que me cuesta es hablarlo. Pues sí. Y quizás no es culpa suya, sino que fue la forma como a ustedes le enseñaron a estudiar inglés, no, no aprenderlo. Entonces, en pocas palabras, lo que le digo, tienen que hablar. Tienen que equivocarse. Tienen que equivocarse. Yo espero que se equivoquen. Quiero que se equivoquen. ¿Por qué quiero? Porque los quiero corregir, quiero ir. Si la mente necesitan estar en este nivel, en uno más alto, en uno más pequeño. Ya, necesito ir a eso. Y quiero que se equivoquen porque ahí puedo ir. Puedo, te, miren. Eh, voy a leer a mi esposa. Mi esposa es dentista. Ella con solo ver a alguien. Dice. Mm, la muela I7. Está mala. ¿Qué? ¿No? Como el dentista, lo, lo único que hace es pasar viéndole los dientes a la gente. ¿Ya? Y le entiendo porque yo, yo, de tantos años de clases de inglés, cuando oigo a alguien hablar, así capto qué es en lo que falla esa persona. Y eso es lo que yo espero. Por eso es que le voy a pedir una cosa. 
el inglés o todo idioma va en tres cosas. Es como ecualizador. Que tiene que estar la, la, la curva, la, la línea recta, pero nunca está. Siempre está en tres cosas. Una, comprensión. Dos, su acento, su fluidez. Tres, gramática. Esas tres cosas tienen que estar o deberían de estar por lo menos rectas. Pero no lo están. Si no, no estuvieran ahí. Siempre alguien va a estar súper bien aquí, mal acá o va a estar bien desnivelado. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. What is your name? Jose, are you married? Yes. Where do you live? Santa Tecla. Where do you work? Simán. Yo me quedo, wow. ¿Creen que puede José o no? Lo único que capté de José es que tiene buena comprensión. ¿Por qué? Me respondió rápido. Nunca me dijo, what? Repeat. ¿Tiene gramática? No sé. ¿Tiene fluidez? No sé, porque lo único que me dijo, José, yes, no, Santa Tecla, Simán. Pero si vengo yo le digo, what is your name? Pero hoy, José, please, complete. What is your name? My name do I am Jose. Jose, are you married? Uh, where do you live? I am do living Santa Tecla. Where do you work, Jose? I am doing, going, working in Simán. ¿Cuál creen que es el de José? Gramática. Grammar. ¿Por qué? What is your name? Me dijo todo lo, todo lo. I am doing, I am do, do, José. Where do you live? I am doing, live, I am Santa Tecla. Pero me habla rápido, eso me gustó. Entonces ya hay dos cosas que no me tengo que preocupar mucho, José. Solo hay una que me preocupa. Y es la que vamos a practicar, es gramática. Entonces digo, José, ok, pum, ya lo oye. Vamos a practicar su gramática. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, me entienden a lo que voy. Entonces, ahí es donde yo tengo la habilidad de escuchar en qué falla alguien. Porque hay otra gente, digamos, si José fuera muy bueno en gramática y muy bueno en comprensión, pero, what is your name? My name is José. Where do you live? I live en Santa Tecla. Uh. Entonces ahí José necesita fluidez. Ok, entonces yo ya sé cómo trabajar con José. Pero hay gente que dice, ah, oh, no, me cuesta. Entonces van a comprar un libro, se meten en, en, en Google y empiezan a estudiar. Y a veces quizás estudian las cosas que no necesitan ayuda. Tienen que encontrar qué es lo que les cuesta. ¿Ya? Yes. Entonces, en pocas palabras, les pido, por favor, me contestan, me, me contestan en forma completa y eso va a ser bien difícil. Más que todo para nosotros los salvadoreños, porque es un aspecto cultural. Nosotros los salvadoreños no nos gusta hablar. Les voy a dar un ejemplo. Hoy lunes. Hey, ¿Qué tal clase? Hey. Por ejemplo, hey Alberto, ¿qué onda? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? La casa. Yo como salvadoreño entendí lo que él me quiso decir. Me quiso decir, no, no hice nada, me quedé en la casa. Pero a veces adoptamos esa cultura en inglés. How was your weekend? My house. Yo voy a decir, what? My house. My house what? ¿Me entiendes? Sí, alguien me va a decir, ¿qué, qué, pues, mi casa qué? No entiendo. My house. What? I stayed in my house. Y a veces ni hablamos. 
Hey, ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? A veces hasta damos con la... Entonces sí, le voy a pedir por favor que me hablen en, en, en completo, ¿ok? Y de verdad se lo voy a insistir, por favor. Y otra vez le vuelvo a decir, por favor pongan cámara. Si no ponen cámara, no voy... Y no quiero sonar malo, pero no sé si están en la clase o no. Entonces no sé si lo voy a... Debería de participar o no. Correct, Angela? Angélica? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, thank you. O a mí? No, no, perdón. Tengo a Angélica. Yo okay. iba a estar tarde porque no podía ingresar. Estoy desde mi teléfono, mi computadora no pude ingresar. Ok, no, no, no hay problema, gracias. No, eso era lo único que les quería decir en español porque eran las expectativas que... Yo tengo de ustedes, entonces mis expectativas de ustedes es que participen. Gracias. Vuelvo y les repito por cuarta y quinta vez, por favor pongan cámaras, no solo también es por mí, es por respeto a sus compañeros, es para saber si están en la clase y es la forma que Insafor toma asistencia. Es correcto. Y número tres, eh, háganme preguntas. Y cuatro, se los juro, no van a aprender inglés solo absorbiendo. Si no lo absorban y escupen, lo absorban y escupen. Como les digo, mi esposa no va a aprender a manejar solo viendo. Comprobado, ya van 15 años. Ok, so let's start. Alberto, tell me, where do you live? Where do you work? What do you do? Well, I live in San Miguel. I work at Concentric, this is the call center, and I am a developer. I mean, I'm a software developer. I'm, I'm a software engineer. Oh, man, you are in the perfect business. Because in El Salvador, you speak English and you're a software developer. You have a very big future, my friend. So... You work in Concentrix in San Miguel. A, a home office. This is the yeah the, remote. The, work from I'm home. Working. Yeah, R remote. Yeah, remote. Okay. So Concentrix uh, does not have an office in San Miguel. No, no, just in okay. in, in the capital, in San Salvador. But I think it's a good opportunity that I have because I'm not working at call center as an agent, as, as but as a developer. And yeah, you you're working in the IT area, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So for me, this is a big challenge and opportunity to be working in a in a company like that because and that's the reason and what that is why I'm here trying to improve my Very language. Good. I mean my skill because I my every day in my daily basis I work with American person, so it's necessary to understand it because of course I had to to have clear what I'm supposed to do in my daily basis. So because I, I have been uh, with issues and problem because I don't understand. So they they get mad and say, Alberto, I told you to do that for yesterday as I mean, because I wasn't able to understand I Ooh. had the issues. That's what they call you, Bert. <laughs> oh, that's cool. No, but it's okay. Yeah, that's good. You 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 will learn in, in the call center is like the university of English. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, San Miguel. I love San Miguel. I lived in San Miguel for two years, a long time ago. Okay. All right. Now, yeah. Now we have Claudia Giron. Hi, Claudia. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Claudia Giron. Um, I'm 25 years old. I'm really? You're from... 25? Yes. You I'm look like from... 18. <laughs> no, I'm 25. Um, I'm working from Colocentrics too. As oh, really? an agent, yes. In in and, in office or in at home? No, at uh, from site. On site, on site. Yes. What do you prefer, on site or home? Um, on site. Yeah, me too. I work in a call center. Well, no, it's not a call. It's kind of like a call center, but I work from home, and sometimes I wish to be in the office. It's hot. Yes, and, I prefer. 
Mm. I, I miss that air conditioning. I miss that, mm, you know, like, oh. yeah. yeah. But okay. All right, cool. Nice. Thank you, Claudia. And you where do you good. live? Um, in Lourdes. I okay. live in Lourdes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Lisette Castillo. You are from Ilo Vasco. <laughs> nice. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Lisette Castillo. I live in Ilo Vasco. I work in Caja de Crédito de Ilo Vasco. I, I was work. Uh, I work was treasure you work treasure. Tesorera, you no sé cómo se dice. treasure treasure okay look very good let me let me explain to you cuando le cuesta decir algo dígalo en sílabas Exam okay. example like look treasure treasure good one more time treasure treasure okay one more time treasure Treasure. Now one treasure. Treasure. Good. Yeah. That when, when something is difficult for you to pronounce, say it in syllables. Imagine it's four syllables like beautiful. 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 Three. Beautiful. Okay, now say it in two. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're going to send in coma? As I can say, beautiful. All right. So you live in Ilovasco and you work in Ilovasco. Yes. You know, you know, I, I think in El Salvador, you are lucky because it's very difficult to find a job outside of San Salvador. You know, I mean, I know a lot of people like, like for example, imagine Claudia Giron, you're from Lourdes. Uh, I bet, well, Alberto, because you work in a call center, but you know, I meet a lot of people like they work, I don't know, in, in a store. Or so. Where do you live? Oh, I live in San Martin. I live in Los Aquen, and they work in Las Calon. It's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, and I met a lot of people that work in Suchitoto. So you're lucky. <laughs> Good. All right, Gerardo. Um, Hey, good evening. Hello, Gerardo. Tell us about you. Well, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. So, so hey, my name is Gerardo Represa. Um, I'm from Santa Ana. Um, I am an architect and I'm working in Anda. It's an institution that administration of water here in Salvador. Thank you for the explanation of Anda. <laughs> All right, good. And um, you work in Anda Santa Ana, I imagine. Yes, yes, I am. I am working here in, in Santa Ana. Are you an Aguila fan or a FAS fan? No, oh, a FAS fan. Okay. I am an Aguila fan. I imagine Alberto too, okay. right? Yes. Is somebody uh, I, else actually, from Santa Ana? I don't like football. <laughs> oh man, you don't like I don't like football. Oh man. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's the name. I mean, it's not football, it's football so, soccer, right? Well, you know, it's actually that's a very big debate because it's soccer only in the United States. But the rest of the world is football. Yes. So it depends. If you're talking to a gringo, say soccer. <laughs> If you're talking to a European, say football, because they get offended. <laughs> All right, okay. Now, next is Ana Marie. I, I think I remember you, Ana. You were my student before, correct, Ana? Yes, teacher. Yeah, you're, you're in Sonsonate, correct? No, no wait, I wait. live in Aguachapan. In Aguachapan, and that's your daughter, correct? Yes, I remember. I, Hi. <laughs> I haven't seen I you. I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> I... <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, since... Well, I, good to. I, good... I think uh, last year. Yeah, it was a long Creo. time ago. Creo. <laughs> well, good to see you. Good to see you. All right, and then we have Susan. Samayoa. Hi, Susan. Hi, good evening. Good evening. 
Um, well, my name is Susan Samayoa. I'm 33 years old. I have two kids and I'm also working at Concentrix. Uh, but I'm in the quality area. And I'm here in this class because I, I want to improve. One of my weakness, weaknesses in, in English is the grammar, and I need to be fluent and have this uh, great skills to communicate my ideas through email and everything. So I need to write it well. And that's exactly what I'm here because I need to improve in that area. And um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm here. And hey, good. thank you, everyone. Oh, good. Thank you. But you speak very well. You speak very So you're quality control. So people hate you. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the call center business, quality control is like some of the people like, I mean, it's not your fault. It's your job. <laughs> That's what people don't understand. But you know, yeah, maybe. I know. The only thing that you need to do is, is just be fair. Just do your um, job. Yes, that's exactly. But uh, most of the people is just like, she is the one that uh, gave me a zero and, and, and they she, don't understand that we have, she hates we have me. some, <laughs> yeah, she's against me, but no, it's, it's not that, it's not about that. So we just need to do our job and, and, and make it good, right? Of course, yes. I mean, quality control, the, the name says it all. <laughs> yes. All right, and we have Angela. Wow, Angela, mm -hmm. your name is very, I think your name is very, very Catholic. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. <laughs> you have, you have all the names. My name is Angela Santa Maria. <laughs> I live in Ciudad Versailles, San Juan Opico. Oh, okay. I work in hardware store. Um, only that. <laughs> okay. Very good. Hold on. One thing. Class, what is a hardware store? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't say Angela. I know you know. I know you know. But don't say anything. Let me see. Let me ask Gerardo, what is a hardware okay. store? Um, good question. <laughs> I yeah. love hardware stores. Those are my favorite stores. Okay, uh, you don't know? Okay. I don't know. I think some kind of uh, a warehouse where, where you have a lot of uh, artifacts, accessories, kind of. Ah, come on. That's a store, yes. But a hardware store. Okay, watch. A hardware store is Freund, Epa. Pidri. Okay, I learned something else. Yeah, many people think it's hardware is related to computers. It's not, it's just hardware. All right, okay. And Angela, you work in a hardware store. Is it uh, local or? I work in hardware store in Sumersa. Sumersa, okay. Yes. So it's local, it's local, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are six um, branch. Oh, yeah. Oh, there are branches. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, Alberto or Gerardo, are you married or Jonathan? Not yet, but I have uh, two kids and I'm, I am, I don't Not know yet, how do you say. Let me tell you, let me give you an advice. You know how women, they always tell you, or they always take you shopping? And men, we hate that. You know, especially when women go see shoes. You know, women see like 20 pairs of shoes and they're all black. And they say, do you like this? And, yeah, no, no. And then they get angry. You never want to be with me. I like to shop and you don't like to shop with me. Okay, so one day, you take your girlfriend to the hardware store. Yes. Take her for one hour. See, mira esta broca. Do you think this is toma gruesa? Look at her face like, I don't know. No sé. Oh, I'm sorry. Now you feel like I feel when you are buying shoes. 
ya nunca más le vuelven a pedir que vayan con ustedes a comprar zapatos. Thanks, thanks for the advice. Yes, yes. Say, hey, baby, uh, be with me when, you know, come with me. Let's go shopping to my store. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yes or no, Susan, you're married, correct? Yes, I am. But no, actually, I, I, I'm kind of an exception of that because actually I enjoy doing that with my oh. husband. Oh, then you're the perfect wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Jonathan, are you there? Yes, teacher. Hello, Jonathan. So tell us about yourself. What do well, you do? Where are you from? Do you work? How much money do you have in the bank? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Mm, I am 26 years old. Okay. Okay. I work in a, I don't know how do you say distribuidora. Okay. Does anybody know how to say distribuidora? <clears throat> It's kind of the similar distributor. I work in a warehouse. But it's a distributor. Distribu distribuido. Distribuido. Okay. I can't say it in Spanish. Distribuidora? In Dis a, distributor. A, in a warehouse? Oh, you work in a warehouse? Yeah. Okay. Mm. My job is digital key user. A what? A digital what? Mm. My job is digital key user. A digital? Di digital digital key user. I don't know what is key user. Explain to me what is a key user. Mm, it's about uh, configure uh, con, configure it. Okay, but uh, I'm sorry. What is what is it that you do? You are a digital what? Key user. Digital. Usuario clave. Yeah. Hey, I may have asked and you this. Usuario clave. <laughs> I will find out. Uh, Alberto, do you know that? No, this is the key key user. Oh, no, digital the... key user. Digital key user. Key. Okay. Key. Okay. That, that's why. I'm sorry. I was thinking K. Okay, key. Okay, I'm good, sorry. thank you. No, 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 no. Why say sorry? No, now I understand, thank you. All right, cool. So, oh. hey, do you want to see something cool, class? Look. Do you see that? Wait, hold on, let me see if I can get it. Do you see that? Yes. Yes. Look. Yep. Yes. It is it's very a, cool. It's a telephone. Wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. And when, when it rings, like all the, the lights go. I like buying stupid things. I like buying unnecessary things. <laughs> All right, cool. Angelica. Hello. Hello. Tell us about you, Angelica. What do you do? Um, first, I want to apologize with you because I don't want to uh, make make you feel that I am respecting you. I don't know okay. what to say. Uh, Disrespecting. Respect, 
Uh, yes, disrespect you because I have issues with my camera because, okay. because I don't have one, but I will fix it tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Um, Thank you for telling me. No, no problem. No worries. Um, but, well, my name is Angelica Lasso. Mm -hmm. I am 24 years old and I work as a graphic designer on a textile factory. Mm -hmm. I live in Sayapango. Don't tell me that you work in Santa Ana, no. No. <laughs> or you work in the textile in, in San Bartolo or Soyapango? Uh, in Soyapango. Oh, oh, lucky you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I had a friend, he lived in, I don't know, he lived in Perulapia, it's like after San Martin. And he worked in a textile company in American Park, like going to Santa Ana. Oh, that was far. That and was he far. and he drove. I remember he said he spent like three hundred dollars or four hundred in gasoline. Uh, and I and I said you are stupid. Why don't you rent a room? Yeah, I know a friend that 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 that, that was that was in in that place too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all right. Okay, very good, class. Thank you, thank you very much. Um. I think this is it. I like this because it's a small class. So when it's smaller, more participation. Now let's see. Now I want to hear you speak a little bit more. Claudia Hiron. Yes. Where does Susan live? I'm sorry, where does Susan work? At Consensus School. Do you know her? No. Be nice to her. Someday she might be. <laughs> <laughs> She might be doing your quality. <laughs> no, uh, actually, I'm working from Sam's Club. I don't know which account she does the QA. Which account do you do the QA for, Susan? I'm at Denim. So it's, it's, this is Gap. Uh, that's this why. Is the name of the account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Wait. we're not in the same line. It's called Denim. I mean, yeah, the, the account name is is uh, is denim or Gap. Gap is the commercial name. The the uh, the brand of clothes, Gap or Navy, even in a Republic. Mm -hmm. But do so you know? That, I mean, but opinion. it's like denim, like like the pants. Yes, uh huh. Kind of. I mean, it, it's the cloth. every type of clothes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. All right, Susan. Where does Alberto work? Um, I don't know. I, I couldn't hear that because I, I came in late to the class, but... Do you remember where he lived? I, well, maybe. No, no. I, I couldn't hear his information. Okay, okay. Don't worry. What about Angela? What does she do? Angela? Oh. Oh, um, she's working in, in a hardware store, you said, Very right? Good. Yes. You know, Angela, sabe que le faltó Trinidad? It would have been complete. Angela de Jesus, Santa Maria, Trinidad, Juarez. <laughs> that would have been the complete. <laughs> if, if you ever have a daughter, name her. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so, you know, I think I, I like what I hear. I think everybody speaks well. I did not hear any problems with comprehension, so that's good. I like the fact that uh, Susan, Claudia, and, and Alberto are working in a call center. That's that's a big plus. I tell that to, to students, you know. To my students, teacher, should I study TOEFL or TOEIC? No, man, go, go work in a call center. Even if you don't need the money, just go work there. 10 hours a day you will speak English. Believe me, you will learn. Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, because today was like the introduction class. So tomorrow we really were going to start the grammar part and everything, okay? So, um, 
like I said, I am. Um, do you know what is? Do you know what is a junkie? Junkie. Junkie. Junkie is una forma informal de decir un adicto. 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 Yes. Pero wait. It's informal. Si yo digo I am a junkie, then I do drugs. But if I say I am a grammar junkie, what do you understand by that? Do you like a lot of grammar? I love grammar, yes. Uh -huh. It's the same in Spanish. What is that word in Spanish? Correr. No tienen un conocido que siempre los corrige cuando hablan. No, se dice así, se dice así. Eh, no, en español o en inglés, o, o para escribir o leer. When you chat or, or write. Siempre hay gente que, oh my God, no puede escribir a esa persona. You know, like, those are people that, oh, you know, como es, <laughs> eh, junkies de ortografías, junkies de... The palabra, the, 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 everything. So I am a grammar junkie. You know, like if people ask me, hey, teacher, what's the difference between I see, um, I don't know, look, see, and watch? Boom. And I tell them immediately. You know, what's the difference between speak and talk? Why do people say who and whom? Why is I and me? And I like to explain very easy. Do you know why I like to explain easy? because it's the best way to learn. Remember when you teach your children to eat? Um, um, el avión, el avión, el avión. You don't teach your, your son, agarra la cuchara, levántala, sirva a la mitad, métete. I mean, they don't understand. So um, the reason why I explain English like this is because sometimes professional people they're, they're very ignorant. Professional people are very ignorant. Nunca han ido a un doctor y le dicen, doctor, ¿cómo estoy? Sí, fíjese que el tendón superior derecho interno de la parte de blah, 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 y le empiezan a hablar, like, what? And you're like, what? Y quizá la conclusión era, El muslo, músculo lo tiene dañado. <laughs> you know? Yes, Susan. I, I just have a question about the methodology yes. of the class. Yes. Because um, I would like to know if you want us to watch the videos first, uh, I mean, before the class or... No, we'll watch them together. Going... Oh, all right. I, I, prefer, I prefer to do everything live. Yes, because the videos are very short. And sometimes, like for example, today, um, hardware store. I know that's not that's not a name that not, nobody really knows. So that's why I asked, hey, who knows what a hardware store is? Nobody answered. So sometimes vocabulary like that comes in videos and I ask something extra. So we do everything in, in, in the class, okay? So- Okay, uh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. So. I like to explain in a very simple way. Like, let me give an example. Alberto. Alberto, tell me which is correct. You and me love Aguila or you and I love Aguila? El Aguila. I think it's you and I love Aguila. Why not you and me? Because me is an object pronoun, not a not a subject pronoun. So what is the difference between I and me? Well, I mean, when I say I, it's because I'm the subject of the sentence. And when you say me, I am the object that receive the action of the verb of the, in the okay. sentence. Good, very good. That was, okay, good. 
Can you give me that explanation a little bit more simple? Now imagine, Alberto, imagine I am, I am your little brother. Alberto, en la escuela me dijeron que, que tengo que ver la diferencia de I and me. What's the difference? Are you going to tell your little brother? Okay, look. No, no, I, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay, so how so would you explain it? When I, I, when I mention you and I, I, that's because we are executing the action. Uh, we are doing the action. And when I say me, I am receiving the action. Okay, good. So I mean, this is the simplest. Yeah. Yes, I am going to call my mother. Who's going to do the action? I. Who's going to receive the action? My mother. But if I change it, my mother is going to call me. Who's going to do the action? My mother is going to receive me. So I is when I do something and me is when I receive something. Simple. Good. That, that, that's like a simple explanation or you can give the university grammatical explanation, you know. I is a subject pronoun. A subject is a person, place, or thing, who or what does the action of a certain time undefined, blah, 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 blah. And then the, you have the object, the object pronoun, which is me. It's a, when a subject, the, and you know, I con que todo like, oh, do you understand? Yes. No questions, you know. <laughs> so, okay, good. So that I, I like to explain in a very simple way. Okay, uh, we have five more minutes. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow we start with the grammar. We start with a question. Um, one question. Where's Claudia? Oh, Claudia, what time do you go in? In your work? Um, I'm sorry, no, 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 it's okay. I have a cat with kitties <laughs> and she's moving um, the little kitty. You have a cat with kitties? Yes. You're a cat lover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. um, I love them. So am I. Really? Oh, man. I hate <laughs> cats. No, no, no. I don't hate cats. I, I, I think cats are cute, but I don't like them close to me. They give me allergies. You, I, you know, have you seen boxing? The boxers? When, when a cat is near me, my face gets like like I am a, in a boxing fight. I am extremely allergic to cats. <laughs> but I think cats are cute because my favorite animal is the tiger, and I love that. There's a cat outside. Man, he, he's funny because he's very fat, and he's orange. He, I promise you, that cat looks like Heathcliff, like, like Garfield. It's exactly like Garfield. All right. Okay. So, what time do you go in, Claudia? Around five minutes, but I want no, 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 in your work, in, in concentric. Ah. Um. Well, now I'm on training because they are going to move to boys because I was on chat. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And the schedule is from six a.m. to four p.m. So what time do you leave your house? Uh, around 4, 15. <laughs> wow. Yes. What time do you wake up? 3.30. Yes, 3.30. Do you come by bus or, or car? Um, by bus. Yes. And from your house to the bus stop is, is near? It's close. Um, actually, we have transportation like route. Oh, but, okay. Yes, oh, but that's they, good. yes, sometimes I took uh, those road buses, but um, near my house there is the Pan American Street, and sometimes I go. Oh, okay. Yes, because I live. I don't know if you know, know if you know. Sorry, uh, pasatiempo. I live near there. Oh, okay. So if you leave your house at 4.30, what time are you in your in the office? Uh, actually today, it was my first day and I was there around 5.30. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Oh. And when you leave at four, what time are you in your house? Like at seven? Uh, no. Uh, like six or 10 to six. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not bad. No. Okay. What about you, Susan? Uh, do you have weekends off, Claudia? Yes. Um, for two weeks, yes, because I'm training, and later I don't know because yeah. those schedule are more. Yeah. Yes. They give you the schedule when you finish training. Yes. Okay. What about you, Susan? No, actually, I'm I'm working at home, and I'm glad for that. So I don't have to travel because actually I live in Santa Ana. So it's like the same time to go from here to the site, like um, two hours and a half. Okay. But so, so you have like a normal hour, you go in at eight and finish it. I mean, I, I have that, that great uh, benefit because I, I choose my own schedule. Oh, okay. uh, right now, I, I mean, I, I'm currently on my vacations, my year vacations. Um, but yes, I, I do have the option to, to choose my own schedule. So I actually prefer to start my shift at uh, 6 a.m. and uh, ended it uh, in theory by 4 p.m. But usually I, I never uh, end my shift in that time. It's yeah. usually at five or so. Because as I mentioned before, I have two kids and I don't have a nanny. So I work from home and take care of my child. Oh, okay. Man, you're so lucky. You choose your schedule. Yes, I am. <laughs> Imagine you can choose your schedule and your salary. Mm, no. <laughs> no, 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 I salary. mean, the salary is, 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 is basically, I mean, basically it's, it's like, a, um, I don't know, like, um, permanent thing i mean i don't have uh, the option of, of earning more by making a, a overtime or anything it's, it's locked. just yeah mm -hmm. okay cool. that's why that's why that's what i love about sales in, in in a call center you make you make the money you want it's a stressful yes but you make good money i used to work in dell when i was dell dell Man, sometimes I made like a thousand five hundred dollars only in commissions, only in commissions. And that's with that was very young, so I didn't care. If I would have been more and more responsible, maybe I would make much more money. But for me, like oh, one thousand five hundred dollars, and when I get paid, stupid me, I go to the social security, <laughs> get three days off, and go spend my money. And I come back with no money. But I was single. I was single in that time. So, Alberto, what time do you go in? Well, uh, uh, if you're asking, the thing is at 8 o'clock because uh, and I finished to 5 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. So, Class but it's not that stressful because, yeah. I mean, I... In a different Susan and Claudia, we have different way to to work because we work as you using the screen. I mean that we using the agile development, and we are. It's not that stressful. I mean, to be working under pressure. Yeah, uh, I imagine a different way because we respond to people from United States, Cincinnati, and Ohio. So they really nice person. They're they cool. help. You know who the best people out. are? The best people are Canadians. They're very cool. Canadians They're are really? the best people, yes. Class, have you ever gone to San Miguel? So, sorry? No, I, I'm asking yeah. the rest of the class if they have ever visited San Miguel. Just one time. One time. Yeah. Man, that is extremely hot. I remember San Miguel is the only place I can listen. I can hear the hot. So yeah, see, like when you open the, when you open the, the door of the car, you feel like a heat, like, whoa. You feel like, I don't know, something is sucking you. And um, I don't know, I remember this, Alberto, I don't know if it's still, but I remember in San Miguel, 
everybody has air conditioning. Like, you know how in San Salvador, like if you have air conditioning in your house, ay, ay, yo tengo aire acondicionado. In San Miguel, no, that's a basic necessity. <laughs> Even if you are like in a, in a very, very low class, everybody has air conditioning. Coca-Cola with ice. Because I remember every time I went to somebody's house, they offer you like, todo con yo. <laughs> it's hot. And, uh, oh, but I love Samuel. I remember that. It was so cool. Do you, um, the pupusas with mayonnaise curtido, right? Yes, indeed. I mean, I remember uh, I, when I used to live in El Salvador, I was for five years living in the capital because I worked at uh, Citibank and then I worked at Mafre. Uh, so the thing is, I remember when I went to a pupuseria and, and what the first day that I had to, having dinner so i remember that i was about to ask for salsa negrita <laughs> and i then realized that there's no salsa negrita in the ta on the table you know i i <laughs> i don't understand why why pupuserias here don't don't do that because the the mayonnaise curtido is very good i really it's good people say oh, no yeah, it's good it, it definitely it's good i really but like i it. remember that it depends I was on the pupuseria but uh, I mean, fortunately, I didn't ask the girl because I was in shock because there were no salsa like that. And in Salsa Negrita, you know, you know, like, yeah, you I know, was, I mean, it was shocked because uh, no, nothing, everything you know, different. It was funny because here in San Salvador, there's a famous restaurant. Well, it's not a restaurant. It's, it's a place that they sell panes migueleños. That's what I call panes migueleños. So I remember the first time I went to San Miguel, I was telling people, hey, okay, hoy sí quiero probar los verdaderos panes migueleños. And they were, what? Panes migueleños? ¿Qué es eso? Man, in San Salvador, there's panes migueleños everywhere. Ah. Nobody, there was no panes migueleños. So one day, teacher, vamos a comer. Okay, good. And we went, y ahí estaban the, the panes, you know, like, panes. Hey, estos son los panes migueleños. Really? Aquí son panes. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like in San Miguel, they're just panes. You know, panes con <laughs> So, oh, okay, that's why. Yeah. And uh, in Santa Ana, you live in Santa Ana, Susan, correct? I remember I lived in Santa Ana, too. I was a teacher there. One thing I remember about Santa Ana, I don't know now. But I'm telling you, like 15 years ago, maybe more, no more. Um, yeah, much more. But one thing I remember is that everybody goes to sleep early. Because Santa Ana, like at 7, 8 at night, is very quiet. Still? It is. Yes, actually. It's still. Oh, yes. that I <laughs> I, I remember in that time, we finished classes at eight. So at eight, we, you know, we hey, let's go out and have dinner. And I remember we we're driving, everything was closed on Wednesday or Thursday. And there was a bar. I don't know if it still exists, but I like that. Oh. Not anymore. Oh, that was a nice bar, though. That, that, was, that was a, I, I like the concept of that bar. But I remember it was like on a Friday night. You know, we were having wine or, or beer or something. And at 10, the bartender gave us the, the bill. Yeah, I'm lot. Really? At 10? <laughs> and when we look around, it was only us in the table. Like, everything closed. <laughs> so still. Yes. Yes, still. Oh, and I remember the streets are very narrow. They're very, like the, the streets. I remember a lot of Santa Ana, can, can must have been, what do I remember? Um, Torta Locas, wait. Ah, something, no, the Pizza Loca, no, the Pupusa Loca, I remember that. And there's a place in Santa Ana that they make pupusas from yuca, right? La masa, the dough, 
It's from Yuka. That's good. Strange, but good. You don't know and you're from Santa Ana? No, first time I hear that. No, actually, yeah, I actually live uh, near nearby Chalchuapa, and they now are making pizza from uh, Yuka. Oh, okay. One thing, Susan, either you say near or by, but you can't say nearby. Okay, okay thank because you. Because, no, no, it's okay. The two are prepositions. Uh, you know, I live near Chalchuapa, or I, I live by Chalchuapa. You know, because I and I, oh, I live nearby, but nearby as one complete word. All right, cool. Jesus Alberto, uh, do you know Coco Mal in San Miguel? No. You're from San Miguel and you don't know what Coco Mal is? Are you serious? Not really. This is the first. Oh my time God. Ever I uh, to no, that. you're not. You're not from San Miguel. Coco Mal is the best invention in the world. Okay, Cocomal is, well, number one, they give it to you in a bag. And they put cocoa, ice, corn flakes, and banana. And everything in a bag, you know, un fresco, you know. So they give you the bag with a spoon. So you drink everything. And when you finish, you eat. You eat the banana and the cornflakes. I remember it was a great breakfast. Really, Jose? I, I you don't know what cocomal is? Not really. This is, that's strange because I, I'm 45 years old and I don't remember such a thing. <laughs> Maybe you went to the uh, Gotera or, or those no. areas. In La Ruzbel, I remember. Bueno, Tienda Rosita. Does that still exist, Tienda Rosita? Very famous? It sounds familiar, but that... that oh, my God. Word. I know San Miguel more than you. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, class. Well, thank you very much. Um, so tomorrow, we'll start, okay? We'll do grammar. Please, please, if you have any questions about grammar in the class or in the day, if... Hey, me voy a preguntar al teacher, ¿por qué así esto? If you have any other questions, anything related to English, write it down. Ask me. I will help you. Um, my, my, hold on, let me see if I have you on my chat. I think I am on the chat. I saw you type in. Jesus es mi pastor. Muy buenas noches. Disculpe, no sé si estoy confundida, pero entiendo que, I don't know. Me, teacher, I know in. Find the link. <laughs> you know what? I imagined it was you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know. I don't know why I imagined it was you because all it says <laughs> is the phone number and Jesus is mi pastor. So I, 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 I was going to say, I think that could be Angela. Mm -hmm. yeah, me. <laughs> yes. Okay. So look. Um, hi, class. Oops. Still in caps lock. Hi, class. Okay, that's me right there. That's my phone number. If you have any questions, any questions whatsoever, send me a WhatsApp. If I don't reply immediately, it's because I'm busy, but I will reply. Don't worry. Yes, ask me any questions that you want. Anything that you need in English. Anything you need except money, and I will help you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice to meet you, class. Hey, Anna, good to see you again. Okay, I'll... Uh, teacher, good I'll see you too, teacher. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.